Today, I'm going to talk about one of those burning questions that I'm asked like all the time. It's one definitely one of my FAQs, and that is, do I need Source Connect? I'll give you the answer in just a moment. First of all, let me introduce myself. In case you're brand new to the channel, my name is Bill DeWeese. I'm a professional voiceover talent. I've been recording voiceovers full-time for the past 17 years, um, over 10,000 paid projects, about every genre type of voiceover imaginable. I'm a voiceover coach and a voiceover demo producer. And every weekday morning, uh, I invite you to join me just for a tip, trick, strategy, something to help you get further down the road uh, of the voiceover business, specifically to help you make more money in voiceover. That's what the channel is all about. All about. Part of our tradition Yes, we've we've actually developed some some traditions here on the on the morning live stream, and that is at the end of the uh, uh, you know whatever we're going to talk about, I'll do a little roll call. So if you want to share your name, where you're watching or listening from this morning, it's always fun to to see where this worldwide audience leads us this morning. So be sure to do that. Also, I wanted to take a, just a quick moment to say a special thank you, and I don't have a full name. All I have is J M Burnett. And so, uh, JM, I want to say thank you. Yeah, thank you for uh, sending me. Well, here, let me read the, the letter. Then I think it'll, it'll, you'll get the full effect here. Hello, Mr. D. Firstly, thank you for the almost perpetual stream of practical information. How do you manage to come up with an almost entirely new teaching point every day? Um, that's a good question. I think it's just... There's so much there, you know, and I've done it for so long. I literally, I don't, I don't plan this out ahead of time. I don't sit around at night, you know, thinking up a topic and an outline. I get up in the morning. I typically don't even have any clue of what I'm going to talk about until I walk down into the studio. And oftentimes it'll be something that maybe is fresh on my mind from something that happened the day before, or, or, you know, I'll sit and think for a while about, you know, what's going on, what's something that, that you'll find in for, uh, that you'll find uh, interesting, but mostly helpful. And again, you know, when you've done this for as long as I have, you just accumulate a lot of, a lot of information, some of which is useless, much of which is very useful. And I try to make sure we just get to the good stuff, the filet, if you will, of the whole body of information. Uh, and then it uh, goes on to talk about more about their voiceover aspirations. <laughs> and then towards the end says, I've obsessed You've been having trouble with your bell. And uh, here's another tradition of ours is that I, I have a bell that I ring for people who book like their first jobs. It's a way, it's a way to celebrate. We like to celebrate people's accomplishments here on the channel. And um, here's one of two that you'll be receiving, which you may find useful. In the meantime, all the best to you and those you care for. And this is cool at the end, a quote from apparently, this is from J.M.'s mom. Never stop trying. Do until you can do better, mom. Very, very good. And JM, th thanks for the bell. Now, check this out. This is a bell. This. That's barely a bell. So we now retire. We thank you for your service. We retire you and we bring in. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's talk about Source Connect. Do you need Source Connect? First of all, what is Source Connect? Source Connect is a software uh, program that allows you to connect remotely with other studios who also use Source Connect. It's like a, to create a high, uh, a broad bandwidth data stream to allow for a super high quality audio feed. So it's better than Zoom or Skype. And Lord knows it's way better than telephone. So it's, it allows the studio on the other end to actually record you in high fidelity. So uh, it's just another way of doing a remote, but usually it's done by a studio with a professional engineer. Not always, but that's typically the way it works. So that's what it is. Now, let me just, to, to, to answer the question briefly, and then let me give you the full, then I'll give you the full scope of it. Yeah, you do need it but probably not today. And, and let me explain. So Source Connect, again, is, is a way to, to do remote sessions where you bring, you're being directed. 
in my experience, which, as I mentioned, I've recorded over 10,000 paid projects over the, over the course of my career. In my experience, nine out of 10, 19 out of 20 sessions will use something like phone or Zoom or Skype or Microsoft Teams or Google Meetings or something along that line, uh, something that's cheap, easy, free, you know, to do. Source Connect is going to be that one out of 10 or one out of 20 that comes along where it's actually typically a studio, professional studio and engineer on the other end, you know, and they're and doing that whole thing. But it does happen. It does happen. And so when it happens, you need to be ready for it. But it's nothing you need to worry. If you, if you haven't started in voiceover or you're very new to voiceover, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, again, you will need it eventually, but you probably don't need it today. Source Connect is a paid program. You can do a one-time payment or you can pay for it monthly. I paid, you know, it, it made sense. I was doing them uh, sessions regularly enough. It made sense just to buy it. And I paid for it, as I recall, somewhere between six and $700 when I bought it so a number of years back, I don't know, five or six years ago. And um, it replaced my ISDN. And I won't get into all of it. That was like the older technology where you're using actually copper telephone lines. That was expensive because you had to buy special equipment for it. You had to, uh, to use, it was two lines that you would have to, to, to pay for, and then you're paying line charges on top of that. So that could get pretty pricey. So Source Connect is awesome. I love it. It's a great, it's a great program. I use it um, almost weekly, I would say. And so, uh, you know, I love it. And uh, if you're going to be recording voiceovers, especially on a full-time basis, it's something you need to be thinking about. But here's the cool thing about Source Connect is that, and this is what I tell my students, don't buy it until somebody says they want to do a session, a Source Connect session with you, because you can actually demo the program. They have a, um, at least last I was aware, you, you can double check this to make sure this is still the case, and I believe it is, is a fully functioning two-week demo of the program. So in other words, uh, if somebody contacted you and said, hey, let's do a Source Connect session, great. Well, all you have to do is, Go to source-connect.com. I believe that's the URL or source-elements.com. Either one may work. Check it out. Google it. And then uh, download the program, the demo. It's full, fully functioning. Um, install it. Set up, you know, you get your, set up your ID and your account, the full nine yards, and you do it and you do the session. And then at that point, if you're pretty confident, you're going to keep doing voiceover, then you pay for it, you know, and you keep it. So it's set up so that, you know, you know, uh, you can literally download it and set it up in a matter of minutes. It's not, it's not complicated. It's, uh, pro, as a matter of fact, it's an extremely easy. It's a great, it's a brilliant little program. It's, uh, it, it's super easy to use. It works very, very well. It's become the de facto standard for remote recording. I'm not saying it's the only thing, but I mean, I don't pay for any other programs. There's other stuff out there. I, you know, unless my client wants to use it. And then, in which case they give me access to it. But Source Connect is the only paid uh, remote session software, you know, that I use. It's great. So, yeah, when the time comes and somebody says, hey, can you do a Source Connect session? I say, sure. And then go, you know, create your account with Source Elements, which is the parent company that owns Source Connect. And uh, download the software, install it, you know, demo it. And then at that point, you can decide whether you want to go ahead and uh, start paying for it or not. So that would be my suggestion. Great program. Yes, you need it. Probably not today, though. Let's check and see who's on the live stream this morning. What's going on, Corey, in beautiful Wisconsin? Phil in Tokyo, good morning. Dan in Clarkston, Michigan. Yep, see, Dan's been wondering, do I need Source Connect? Dan, now you know. Janet in Florida, David in Louisville, Rebecca in Albion, Michigan, Greg in Asheville, North Carolina. Rusty, what's up in the UP of Michigan? Shannon, I finally took the leap and joined Fiverr. Awesome. Hey, Bob, how are you doing in Reedsville, North Carolina? Hey, Jim, it says, hope you're feeling better. Hi from Lincoln, Nebraska. I, you know, yeah, I, uh, I've been, you know, seasonal allergies. They're still there and they will be for, for a while, but I'm doing fine, Bob. Thank you for, uh, or Jim, thank you for asking. JR, good morning to you in Austin, Texas. Doug in Winston-Salem. Uh, what's up, Eric in Richmond, uh, Richmond, Texas, specifically Jason in Mobile, Alabama, Bruce in Louisville, Kentucky, Barbara in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Aaron. Hello to you in Columbia, Missouri. 
What's going on? MG in North Carolina, Laura in St. Paul. Working, Laura's working on her 14th audio book. That deserves a bell. I'm sorry. That, that's awesome. Plus, I, you know, I just wanted to ring it. It's new. Got to break it in. You're, uh, you're making headway, Laura. I love that. That's great. Tom in uh, Indianapolis, the man of many hats, he calls me. It feels that way sometimes. Sherry in Amarillo, Texas. John in Rhinebeck, New York. Good morning, Theo. Bill, you're looking sharp today in that shirt, reporting in from the front lines of the Chicago Metro System. You know, this is my, I feel like I'm on vacation shirt. It's my, my favorite shirts right now are the Izod saltwater shirts. And they make t-shirt versions and then they make these more, you know, golf polo type shirts. It's my, and that's one of those. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm feeling tropical today. It's this 80 something degree weather that we're experiencing and I'm loving it. I could take 10 more degrees. I can say that as long as my wife isn't listening because she is, she doesn't dig this the way I do. I tell you, she would be, I think she's one of those people who could be very happy in Alaska. Sherry in Amarillo, Texas, John in Rhinebeck, New York. Let's see. I think I'm repeating myself here, aren't I? Theo, yes. Thank you, Theo. Appreciate the comment. James, a fine good morning to you in Birmingham or in Bingham, Binghamton, almost in Birmingham, Binghamton, New York. You're not only topical, but tropical. Yes, indeed. Stephen Oshkosh, Curtis in Columbus, Georgia. It is a wonderful day for voiceover. Wade in Philadelphia. Good morning. Jay getting the car fixed in Gardner, Massachusetts. Arg. Oh, you know what, Jay? Man, I feel you this morning. We, uh, you know, it, when, I, when, I, when I got into voiceover and started, you know, and I quickly started, you know, just because it became my full-time job immediately, we started making, you know, good money and more money than I'd ever made before. And one of the, the big, the bait of my existence up to that point had been cars. And of course, you know, we tried to get everything that we could out of the cars we had and we'd keep them. And I remember transmit, I remember once having a 94 Nissan, what was that? It was a minivan. Um, we bought it new and Vicky and I, we loved it. You know, we were, we had a family and it was great for the kids and all of that. But I remember once uh, the, the transmission going bad and it was a $3,500 fix. That just about financially wiped us out. I mean, that's a, that's a big thing. We literally drove that car until one day I was, I was out playing golf with a friend on a Sunday afternoon. Vicky called and said, the axle just broke. I mean, the car, the axle literally, we drove it till the axle broke. And so when I had a voiceover <clears throat> and, you know, we were, we were making good money and, and I just kind of vowed to myself, I'm going to buy a new car like every few years. And, uh, and it's been great because we've, we've had very little issues, except we decided we bought a Ford Flex in 2018 and our kids make fun of us because they, they think it's an ugly car, but I, we love it. It's a, kind of like, it's almost like this uh, burgundy purplish color. It's, you know, it's got the big black rims and I think it looks kind of sporty, but most importantly, we like to have a car that carries, uh, we have two cars, we always have two cars and one car we like to either have like a truck or an SUV or something we can haul stuff around in and it works great for that. But we decided, <clears throat> excuse me, to hold on to it longer than we have other cars. And so, you know, it's paid off and, and all that, no payments, <clears throat> excuse me. So we've held on to it. And this week, this past week, guess what happened? The transmission. Yep. Guess what the fix? $5,500. I said, don't fix it. We'll trade it in. So anyhow, my point being, I feel you on that one. Deborah, good morning to you in Florida. Thomas, what's going on in Tacoma, Washington? I found you on Facebook a while back. May I add you? Absolutely, you may. Victor, what's going on? Good morning from Chicago. Great topic. Some of the auditions I received state must have Source Connect. Yeah, you know, and you can say, you know, that you're, you, you can do Source Connect because you can. It's, you know, it's great. And then when somebody says, let's do the session, you know, download the software and do the session. Uh, good morning to you, Jacob in Washington, D.C. Victor. Hello. Good morning, James. <laughs> it says much better bell. It is a much better bell. I appreciate this is awesome. Way better. 
This thing's going in the garbage. This is just it's terrible. Rob, greetings from another Broken Egg Cafe. <laughs> One of my favorite breakfast restaurants. Do you know that the one here in the area where we live on a weekday morning can have a two hour long waiting list? That's how good they are. So that's why I always eat there on a weekday. Theo says, so glad you've upped the bell game. Yes, absolutely. Tess, I wondered about Source Connect. I've been putting it off. Gregory, good morning to you in uh, Carrollton, a suburb of Dallas. Gertie, good afternoon to you in Belgium. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Tony in Denmark, Wisconsin, checking in this morning. This morning's intro rings well with me. <laughs> well said, Tony. Hey, Meryl, good morning to you. Wally, good morning in Maryland. Um, Famita, thanks for this live session. Can we record a voice demo through our mobile? I wouldn't do that. Would not do that. Uh, let's see here. Source Connect, Connection Open, uh, Ip Diddle are the two, are the top contenders. Yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I once used, or maybe a couple of times used Ip Diddle, but I, PDTL, but it, my client has it. And so they, they just send me a link and I just, I don't have to buy it. So again, Source Connect is the only one that I've ever actually put money into. Gene from Ottawa, nice shirt. Question for you. When you are, uh, are an established voiceover and you are in demand, can you put yourself in off mode so you do not go to the bottom on Fiverr? Yeah, you know what? I don't consider myself the full expert of that. My daughter certainly is. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, she puts herself, turns it off for a while. Sometimes if she's going to be gone without any serious consequences. I don't think you'd want to do it for an extended period of time, but for a few days, it'll be fine. Thomas says, I've used Source Connect before in another voice acting class. Audio is top notch. Yes, indeed, Bruce. Thank you for checking in. Let's see here. AG from rainy India. Thank you. Brian, upstate New York. Just finished the booth. Tony, hey, how are you doing in Wisconsin? Uh, looks like you have a healthy tan. Love your shirt too. You know what? Every day I've been going out for about 10 minutes and just sit out. We have a, a, a fire pit and some like rocking chairs out there. And I'll just sit out there in a chair for a few minutes and soak it in because I love it. Love my sunshine, love my vitamin D, and love my shirt. Uh, Norris in Peoria, Illinois. Hey, David Parker, how are you doing? In sunny Canal Winchester. Steve, uh, yeah, the new bell's awesome, right? Hey, Israel, how are you doing in Zimbabwe? Jim in Southwest Florida. Holland is in the house this morning. Love it. That's my homeland. That's where, that's where my kinfolk, that's where my, uh, my ancestors migrated from Holland here to the U S back in what's the 1500s or 1600s. There's actually a Dewey's Island. Um, I think it's South Carolina. Not, it's one of the Carolinas. I think it's, I know it's North of Hilton head. I think it's South Carolina. That's uh, where the first Dewey landed in America. True story. Arthur in Pennsylvania, Mark in Albuquerque, Irene Kennedy. How are you doing? Bruce. Laura, yeah, glad you like the bell. Awesome. Hey, Sonny, how are you doing? James. Yeah, uh, James is asking, is, is a radio air check acceptable to use in a demo? I wouldn't. I mean, you could include it, like, for instance, if you were on, on a website or, like, on a pay-to-play on your profile or any profile, you could have it, you could say radio air check. I, would, I wouldn't call it a demo. I'd call it a radio air check, but you still need to have you know, like your commercial and your narration demos. Dave in New York. Good morning to you, Lee in Dallas. Man, a lot of folks on the stream this morning. Holy moly. Is Alex still doing training on VO audio setups? He is. Alex DeWeese, you can contact him. He will he will set up a stack for you. He'll get all your, your software dialed in uh, for your space. Alex, A-L-E-X at BillDeWeese.com. Thomas, good morning. Hey, Laura. Hey, James. Uh, let's see here. Oh my gosh. My Toyota 4Runner has four. Are you kidding? Four and a half million miles with the same transmission or 4.3 million miles, same transmission. Did you actually put too many zeros there? Or is that 
That's unbelievable. If that's the case, that might be a new world record, and congrats to you. That's amazing. Hey, Marcus, hello in Springfield, Missouri. Thomas. All right, awesome. Hey, guys, thanks for being here. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon.